All right, uh, today I'm going to show you how to remove volumetric lighting from depth passes in HLAE. This is a follow up to the tutorial I did before. This one's with the picker, which is a little bit easier because you don't necessarily have to know the name of the material you're looking for. We get a bit more of an interactive way to find it. So once again, I'm just going to show you the problem. So if we have a stream, a depth stream, we'll call it my depth. And we just preview that. We have these here, and these are the volumetric lights coming through the windows, and we want to get rid of them. So, pretty straightforward. Get them in view, get up close to them. We're going to go Merv Streams, Edit, My Depth. Then you're going to go into the Picker submenu. And we can start with either searching for an entity or a material. Uh, in this case, we're going to search for a material. So matte, and then you're basically just going to answer over and over whether it's visible or not. So right now, they're obviously visible. We'll put one. They're still visible. Put one. Still visible. Still visible. Now they're not visible, so we'll put a zero. Still not visible. They're visible again. Okay, now it says it's found it. So let's just go to the picker and put print. And train sky. So that's exactly the one we're looking for. And we can go ahead and stop the picker. You want to make sure you do this whenever you're done, otherwise, you'll have issues. We're just going to copy the name of that. And it's identical to how I did it in my last video. Just edit the pass. You're going to put an action filter. We're going to add one for that material. And we're going to give it the action no draw. There you go. Super simple, very interactive. You can use that method to hide anything, essentially, in uh, CSGO or in other source games that support the picker. But, uh, this makes it a lot easier because you don't necessarily have to know the name of the entity or the material you're looking for. I uh, hope that helped.